whether you play squad battles to complete objectives or simply because your internet is shit, then you're in the right place. In this video, I will try to give you some tips that will help you with some of the objectives or simply because you just want to play squad battles. Remember, I'm not a pro, so some of these tips might not help you at all. You might be better than me and you might have some other tips. If you do have other tips, please leave them in the comments so you can help other people who are struggling. But yeah, let's get into the video. So, the first tip I'm going to give you is to use a slow build-up style play. So you see I've got possession on, so we keep the ball. Don't let your opponent have the ball because when they get it, they can punish you, especially if you're playing on world-class or legendary. Uh, you also want to you tell your full-backs to stay back while attacking, that's very useful. But yeah, you just want to keep the ball and slowly break down your opponent until you get a chance. The next thing is another thing that you can do out of the gameplay. And this is to look at the opponent's squad, see which one will be easiest. So you see, he's got Van Dijk or Walker, so that could be difficult to score against. But you can also look at the details of the player and see how it affects him. You see Borja Iglesias, he's got minus 5 on the start, and Rashford's got minus 16. So although Rashford's an OP player with those stats, he's going to be terrible because of the uh, downgrades that he's got. And this squad will be a lot easier if you need to score goals. I think Mbappé at the moment you need to get Wolfsburg goals and that might be easy against this one for example because it's got a weak defence. But yeah, just look at the opponent's squad, see which ones will be easier for you to play against. And then yeah, choose one and we'll go into world class and play against this team now. And I'll give you some more tips. So the first tip that you can do in a game is force your opponent to cross. If you use LT to jockey then it makes your defender sort of, you can control your defender's movement more and they just put it in the cross, that's what they automatically do and crosses on this game as you will know they're terrible so you can easily just clear the ball or win it back I find that the AI are a lot more deadly when they cut inside so you just do that, force them out wide, force the cross and if you've got some strong defenders they should be able to win the ball a limitation of this is that you do need to be quite close lead to the player sort out your position in a bit because if you're too close then they can cut back and do a cry turn but then if you're too far away then they can sprint away and cut inside because you're too far away from them so you got to keep the distance don't get too close but don't get too far and then it can be quite effective the next tip is to control the ball and you're probably thinking what do i mean by this and what i mean is use lb dribbling your players keep very close control of the ball and it can get you out of tight situations it's almost like doing RB drag backs but if you use LB then it means that you're still facing the player and you can win quite a lot of free kicks doing this get past people keep hold of the ball keep possession and it's useful in slow build up play and that's what I do so I just keep possession and it can be useful to creating chances so the next tip is to jock your opponent and I talked about this a bit more using the LT dribbling to force crosses and yeah you can defend like this very well your players make all mac challenges when the ball gets near enough but it just controls contains your opponent don't let them break into space and it's useful to defend I highly recommend doing this instead of just lunging in the tackles because if you don't win the tackles then your opponent's got in behind you and that can create chances for them so the next tip is to play for penalties and what I mean by this is don't look for a late goal because the amount of times I've gone ultra attacking and then the opponent just gets a last minute winner and that can be very frustrating so don't let it happen, play defensive, keep the ball and let it run to penalties. The reason you let it run to penalties is simply because they're easy. When your opponent's taking a penalty just look at which way the head's pointing and 9 times out of 10 that is the way that they shoot. Here you can see he's looking right, so I'm going to dive right, as easy as that. In this clip actually I have a terrible shooting record, you can see how many penalties I miss, but you've got to take positives, look how much penalties the opponent's missing as well. See here he's looking right, so you dive right, keep doing that, 9 times out of 10 you'll save them and it'll result in you winning the shootout. So that is the end of the video, hopefully that will help you in the squad battles, um, at the moment there's quite a lot of objectives to play squad battles and I'm actually going for Crespo if you're interested that's 12 tokens and to get tokens you need to win squad battles games with different clubs with different teams so that's exactly what I'm doing now and yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video if you want to see more tutorial videos like this then please like and comment and yeah I'll see you next time goodbye